I'm Courtney Brown and today I'm going to show you how to create a new window in a Dempier. The new window we're going to create is called Minutes of Meeting and it's going to look a little something like this. So first we're going to open up Postgres in order to create a table. So you go into your databases, go into your Dempier database, and in the Dempier schema we can see that we have a bunch of tables here and we're going to add to that. In order to do that we're going to open up the SQL editor. So when that pops up we can go to the Dempier cookbook and we're going to copy and paste this code to create our minutes of the meeting table. So I'm going to copy and paste it into here and I'm going to click run. We see down here we get a message that tells us that the um, return was successful. So if you go back into your database and you refresh it, and you go back into Dempier, in your schema Dempier, You can see here that the number of tables changed from 729 to 730. And if we scroll down, we can scroll down until we find our table just to verify that it was actually created. So this is what we put in. And if we click up here to view the data, it'll show us our table with all of the columns created. And so because I've already created uh, our new table, our new window in a Dempierre, I'm going to go and rename our table as, um, we're going to rename the table as C Mom. And I'm going to do four because that's my favorite number. And we're going to click OK. So the next thing you're going to want to do is open up a Dempierre. So you go into your files, wherever you saved it, typically under Windows, in your Dempierre folder, and then you're going to click Run a Dempierre. So when the login screen shows up, you're going to log in as system and the password is also system. When you have that you can click the green check mark. And then your role is going to be system and administrator, your client is going to be system, and organization will be star. You click OK. You're going to click no when this window pops up. So now you are in a Dempier. The first thing we're going to do is go to menu, and go to application directory and open up that window. Then you're going to click down here at table and column. And when this window pops up, you're going to go down to the left hand corner down at the bottom and click new record. So now we're going to fill in the following information. So whatever you named your database table name, you're going to type that in here. Mine's four. And it's going to be, the name is going to be minutes of meeting detail. The description is this table stores the minutes of meeting detail. And then for comment, we can say for every meeting, uh, MOM detail is captured here. So just to check, we have our client is still system and organization is still start. Those are things we do not change. We're going to make sure that active is checked and we're going to change the data access level to all. Once you have all of that, you can click create columns from database. And then you're going to get this window which will prompt us to select an entity type. And so we already chose user maintain, which is basically it'll just keep it from being overwritten with future migrations. So then once you have that, you're going to click OK. So if all is well, you're going to see this window, which will list all of the same columns that we created in Postgres. So if all of them are there, you can click OK. So now to verify that our columns were created, we can go over here and click the column tab. And here we see 
that all of our columns were in fact created. So now we can exit out of this and go down to the window tab and feel part. And again, we're going to go and click new record. So now we're going to fill in the following information. So for our name, we're going to do minutes of meeting detail, just like before. Our description can be minutes of meeting, and then comments, again, minutes of meeting. So then we make sure that client is system, organization is star, active is checked, our window type is maintain, and entity type is user maintained. So before we move on, we're going to click the Save button. And then we can go over here to the Access tab to verify our access. So we can see here that we could change it with the different check marks, but for right now, we're going to just keep it as the default settings. And then we're going to move on to Tab. So we're going to click right here uh, for a new record. And we're going to look at this view. And we're going to fill in the following information. So the name is going to be M-O-M. -M. Our description is going to be M-O-M, -M, basic detail. And then in our comments, we're going to say that this tab captures the basic detail about the M-O-M. -M. So we're going to make sure active is checked. And then we're going to click here for our table. We're going to scroll down until we see what we're looking for. I think I've passed it. So we're going to click our table name, make sure that this matches with the table that you created earlier, and our entity type stays the same with user maintained. Everything else you don't have to change, and then you click save. So from here, we can scroll down and we're going to click the Create Fields button. And so basically what this does is that um, it's going to generate some fields from your columns. So if all goes well, you're going to get this list of all the fields that will be generated. I'm going to click OK. So then we're going to move on and click the Field Sequence tab. And this is basically just going to reorder things. And so we're going to put it in a nice organized thing. So you can just click one and move it up. Or you can drag it up. So that's up to you which way you want to do it. I'm going to put it in this order. And then we're going to have our chairperson go next. And then the start date and our start time and then our end time and then participants will come next and then agenda and there's discussion detail this will go right up here so once you have your sequence looking like this you can go ahead and click save so from here we're going to move on and go to the field tab as you can see, our names of all the fields, they make sense, but when we're going to create this uh, window for somebody to use, this doesn't look too pretty. So we're going to change this to look better and without any underscores. So we're going to capitalize things, take out all underscores that you see. Okay, so now that looks much better. And then as a good practice, you can also write descriptions here, but you do not have to. That is up to you. So I went ahead here and I filled in all the descriptions. So you can pause this video and uh, fill them in yourself, or you can just leave them blank. That's up to you. So now we can exit out of that. And then we can go up under Menu, under System Admin, and then we can do General Rules, System Rules, and then go down to where you see menu. So again, you're going to click on the new record button. And we're going to fill in the following information. 
So the name is going to be minutes of meeting. And then um, description, MLM, everything looks good. Then action is going to be window. And our window, we're going to scroll down until we find our minutes of meeting window. Okay. I'm going to change this to minutes of meeting detail just to make sure everything is the same. So then we can save that. So you see it pops up right here. So everything looks good. So we can exit out of that. And then we can go file. We're going to log out. So now when we log back in, we're going to log back in as garden admin. Password is also garden admin. So our role is Garden World Admin, Client Garden World, Fertilizer, that's all good, so click OK. And again, click No here. So if we go to the menu screen, we will see that our Minutes of Meeting Detail window was created. So if we click on the Minutes of Meeting Detail, this comes up and uh, when we create a new record you can fill in the following information that you would take at a meeting. And there you have it. That is how you create a new window in a Dempy here. Thank you so much for watching.